G day, people! This is Chef Peter here. Welcome you guys to episode number one of the Pokemon Kurosu Nuzlocke. If you guys are excited for this new series on the channel, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you hit like button down below for us because, as always, your support is greatly appreciated. So, guys, this is a game that I've actually looked at a few people playing. I know that. The most recent people I've seen play it was uh, a couple months back when uh, the Hidden Mo and Nexus did a co-op, but they did a randomizer. I'm gonna be playing the original game and nuzlocking it. Hopefully, we don't get blown the fuck back as this whole thing repeats. We're in no mood for repeat performance. Let's get into this. Okay, so this is a hack created by Crizzle, aka Chris Rose. Chris, awesome name. Warning, this hack is not for little kids. Let's call it PG-13. Oh, you know it's good when it's got that at the start of it. It's not as bad as Outlaw, but it's still a very violent game. Okay, so I've actually heard of Outlaw. So this is basically from the same creator of Outlaw, but it's more violent. Oh, you know good is going to come from that. The events of this story take place a few years after the events of Pokemon. Oh, so this is a continuation. Oh, oh, well that makes sense, if it's the same creator. This is the story of a 14 year old girl. The girl lives a normal life with her parents until... Oh, this is gonna get real. In a random raid in her home and home, her parents are killed by vicious criminals. Oh, fuck. How dark does this get? Shit! They kidnap the girl and take her to a distant region. And the burglar is the- oh! <laughs> the burglar is the professor! Like, it's, there's not even a professor! You're an abducted 40 year old girl! Oh my god! This is dark! Holy shit! And I thought Insurgents was bad! This is fucking- oh my god! Sorry little girl! We did what we had to do! This world is a really deadly place! Your family was just unlucky! It's nothing personal, kid! This world- is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For people like your family, Pokemon are pets. For people like me, Pokemon are tools used to gain great power. For once, this actually acknowledges what the purpose of Pokemon is. Well, to us anyways. Anyways, I need to get some info on you. Why, you're a burglar. Okay, so we don't even get a choice of a male or female. We just are the abducted 14 year old girl. Fuck. Let's begin with your name. What is it? Okay, uh, well, since I just acknowledge my name is Chris, I think we'll go with the female variant of that name. And I think I've done it once before on an LP. I'm gonna go ahead and call myself Chrissy. It's Chrissy, the abducted 14 year old. Oh god. Chrissy, huh? That's cute, kid. Chrissy. Pretty young girls like you sell for a lot of. Oh my god, this Lego and ham. Oh fuck. You will be a human slave for the rest of your life. Sorry. What the fuck? I I need to take fuck. Okay. Check out the wonderful selection of females you know. Oh my god, the fucking Yo, what the fuck? This is fucked! Choose whichever you want. My god. Yeah, <laughs> they're all so cute. Which one is the best? Yeah, I got it. Now I've taken a closer look. She's definitely the one that's right. She picked, she chose us! Or he chose us! Um, I need an adult right now. But she's holding a bag. Why'd you let her keep a bag? When we brought her from those guys, she already had it. Don't worry about it, Tempty. Alright, let's go. Dude, she's got, he's gonna rape us! What the hell? Guys, I have no idea that... I didn't even see the beginning when the Nexus and Hemo played it! You look so innocent, so cute and s Oh my... I'm so sorry! <laughs> okay, PG-13! That's a fucking understatement! This is fucking MA-15+, plus. fuck this! I'm gonna show you how to make a real man feel good. Oh my god, are you ready? Chrissy is scared! No fucking shit she's fucking scared! Ever since her family was killed and getting kidnapped, she's been in a fragile state. She doesn't like this man and is frightened. What? 
A strange feeling is in the air. Chrissy feels strange. Something is coming. What the? A ghost-like creature in a weird ball has somehow found its way into Chrissy's bag. Would you like to give it a nickname? Yes! What is it? <gasps> it's a gas leaf! Whoa! Okay, so our start is a gas leaf. Yo, okay, okay, okay. Now, you know the names I give all my female gas leaves, I call them Elizabeth. Elizabeth! Elizabeth. Elizabeth the gas leaf. Oh my god. A gas is gonna save us. Thank fuck. This creature, it had power, and this power was under Chrissy's control. Chrissy was tired of getting pushed around and forced to do things against her will. She was getting some payback, starting with this pervert. Pervert? He's a fucking pedophile, more like. What are you doing? I didn't tell you to get out of bed. Where'd you get that Pokeball? Well, I'm gonna have to hurt you. Yo, this is fucked up! What the hell? We have a thug that's trying to rape us. We have thugs trying to sell us like fucking property. Oh my god. And he has a manky, so clearly it would seem to me that this manky cannot touch us because we are a ghost type. So I think that's how they got things set up, but oh my god, what is this game? Like maybe if I played Outlaw, I would actually have a bit of the, you know, I, I can understand it, but holy fuck. I'm fucking blown away. PG-13, that's a fucking, no, 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 no. I can tell you right now, if I saw my kid playing this game, and I read what I just read right now, I would tell them to drop the fucking game. If they were under 13 years old. That is some fucking creepy ass fucking shite right there. Oh my god. So we defeat the pervert. What the hell? Ghastly licked the man. A ghastly lick has an interesting effect on humans, if done with bad intentions. I didn't even know that. The man instantly died, his corpse melted like ice cream in the scorching heat. Yikes. Okay, uh, let's have a look at our how ghastly over here. Oh my god, oh he has an item. So it's docile nature, that's fine, it's neutral. And it's holding a orange berry, and it has hidden as lick. Okay, but holy fuck, this game though, yo. Is this Seldon City? I feel like we're at the top of Seldon City. Yeah, this is like the office building. Hey, aren't you Gino's girl? Uh, I ain't owned by nobody, okay? I'm a proud, independent woman. Another thug wants to come and challenge us. A Caterpie! Okay, so... Okay, so I'm guessing this Caterpie can't touch us either because all it has is string shot and tackle. So... Um, okay. Down goes the canopy though. Oh my god, guys. I, I'm all kinds of worked up right now. This story, this fucking game, like, holy, this is just the intro. The intro's got me all fucking like, yo, this is not meant for children. Even though it's a Pokemon game, the storyline and everything else, this is not meant for children. Uh, so, um, I'm just kind of blown away. I mean, look. I know that probably a lot of adults could probably get a kick out of playing this game because it's like, you know, Pokemon is so kid targeted that this game is for more like I wouldn't say disturbed, but like it's got a it, it's got a different angle to it because, like I'm guessing Outlaw, most of the games usually are targeted for kids. You know, it's like oh it's cute, you know, there's no killing, there's no murder, it's all fun and games, handshakes, Pokemon fainting, yada yada yada. In this game, it's talking about well, first off, real life issues, which is you know, really real when you think about it. You know, you have kids underage, they're marrying older people, they're being sold for freaking things, and I, man, I, I don't, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I, I really don't know what to say. Like, I'm, like I said, I can appreciate what the creator was intending to do, but, Oh my god, PG-13, I still can't get over PG-13, that, that, no, 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 there's ain't PG-13. People dying, Pokemon killing, uh, no, that's not PG-13, okay? But, I mean, I'll, I'll play this game, I mean, for the first part, I mean, it doesn't sound too bad, I mean, you're obviously just a, a little girl trying to find a way out of a, um, 
you know, a, a game, a game power. Um, so we have Elizabeth here that has Lick and Spite. So this is, if you guys don't know, it is a fire red ROM hack. I'm guessing you can probably tell by the music and the graphics and everything else, but. Um, but I don't know how different the game's going to get as far as, like, you know, the, the map, and the story, and the, the places. Uh, but our Elizabeth is rocking it now. Level 9, though. Yo. Elizabeth, don't turn down for no thugs. I'll tell you that much. God damn. Alright, so. Now, to be fair, the Nuzlocke hasn't officially started yet because, basically, we don't have any Pokeballs. Once we get Pokeballs, the Nuzlocke officially begins. So, for well, the time being, we're just beating down on these thugs who seem to have appropriate Pokemon for our Ghastly because they basically can't be touched. Unless we just sit here all day and just struggle, you know, like, and I've just hit no system. Okay. It has Vile Spirit. Okay, well, we'll just blink, 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 blink. I'll speed up this battle here because it just seems like it's going to be, uh, you know, a tedious battle. Okay, so now we've faced all those goons. Let's get down here. Is there anyone else over here? Okay, it's letting us this room here. Oh great, it's a Viking. Hey there, pretty thing. Are you lost? You shouldn't be down here. I see, you're trying to escape. I won't allow it. Around here, you're not a person, you're an object. That's fucked up. And the lucky one at that. The other girls brought here we brought here drug were drugged and sold to the local brothels at a high price. Guys, dude! Fuck you, okay? I'm telling you, that fuck you, that's fucked. You're lucky we kept you. Uh-huh. You're the property of the Salone crime family. You want to change that? HA! Don't get too cocky after being some of our weakest members. I, right, Sergei Salone, will take you on. Okay, so this guy... Oh, I want to kick his ass. He's fucking... Okay, he have four Pokemon though. What the fuck? What the hell? One second, guys. I do apologize. Sorry about that, guys. Apparently, someone's using a leaf blower outside. It's like, of all the fucking times to use a leaf blower, it has to be in my videos. Anyways. Holy shit, level 44 Marwile? What the fuck? Okay. Christy could feel the huge gap in power between herself and Sergi. She was confident coming into this battle. That confidence was completely gone. Uh, yeah, uh, Marwile level 44 ain't taking shit. Christy was now scared for her life. She could feel enormous amount of power this Pokemon had. I mean, guys, it's a Marwar. Maybe when it's in Gen 6 and it's Fairy, then it has some power. Now, it's a fucking Marwar. Gasly was not nearly as strong. But regardless of her opponent's strength, Chrissy absolutely had to win. This is a battle for her freedom. Okay, all we can do is try. All we can do is try. Her Spain attack. Okay, so I figured we had to lose this one. So down we go. So we fainted, and I'm guessing this was part of it. Mala, come back! Too easy. Oh, shut up, you. <laughs> how pathetic. I don't know how you got that Pokemon, but it's weak. This is reality. We are the Great Salone Crime Family. We rule all of Fortune Island. Okay, so this region is Fortune Island? I don't know. It's just a place. We paid people to kill your family and catch you, as we've done with many other foreign girls. You are our property. You are completely powerless, little girl. Too fucking real. We'll buy another girl. You're no good. I'll just kill you. Hello? Lance? What the fuck? How'd you appear? With your teleconnect with your powers. Lance! What are you doing? I thought you were here to make a deal with us. Wait, Lance is a bad guy? He was trying to make a deal? Okay, look. The verdict's not on Lance just yet, but... I don't know if he's paying them to save us, or if he's actually a bad guy in this game, and he was here to buy a girl. I'm not too sure. The verdict's still out on him, but for now, I'm happy to see Lance. A familiar face. I was, but... Uh, no. <laughs> Dragonite, Dragonite. I was, but I didn't know you guys did this kind of thing. She's just a young girl. You know better than that, Lance. She's our property. I can do with her. I can do what I want with her. Property or not, I won't let you kill a helpless young girl. I know I'm your guest, but I'm taking this girl with me. 
Yes. Okay, so clearly he's got some sort of connections with this group. Okay, as far as I know, I'm saying Lance the bad Okay, now from that, I'm saying Lance the bad guy. I'm just gonna put that out there. Damn it, Lance! Will you try to stop me? Just get out of here. You're lucky the boss isn't here. That's what I thought you'd say. Let's get out of here. I'll take you somewhere safer. Alright, this is the safest place I can find. I hope the ride on my Dragonite wasn't too bumpy, Chrissy. Well, how about that? We get to ride Dragonite, but we didn't get to see it. Before we were on Fortune Island. Now we're at Boone Island. Boone Island, like all the other islands of the Sevi region. Okay, now we know this is the Sevi region. It is controlled by groups of criminals. However, the criminals on Boone Island are much weaker than the Saline family on Fortune Island. I know you've got revenge on the Saline family for killing your family, but I suggest you let it go. They're just too powerful. Well, I'll just give you this Pokedex before I leave. Stay safe, Chrissy. Lance! What the hell? You're supposed to be justice, not trying to say, well, they killed your family, but, you know, they're too powerful, let it go. Oh, ah, uh, 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 ah, uh. you people know me, I will not back down from a challenge. This is some fucked up bullshit, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna kick your ass, I'll tell you what. Do we have an item in here? Usually we have a potion or something. Withdraw item. We have a rare candy. That's cool. Um, I don't know if I need to use it just yet, but I mean, it's there. It's there for a lot of purposes. Okay, so let's talk to some of these people around here. The small shop and the hotel always get robbed by this town's gangs. It's so hard to make money in this place. Stupid. Ah, g -g 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 -g. Stupid gangsters always mess up with our hopes. They attack us sailors for no reason. Ah, g -g 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 -g. Repairing those damage isn't easy and it takes time. Okay, uh, anything else? The Boone Gang hangs out at Cape Break. They're a violent group of thugs. They're really scary. Okay, and can we go on the boat yet? The boat needs repairs. Come back later. Okay. Um, man, I, I, I know what to say. Like, alright, hi there. May I help you? Okay, you have Pokeballs. Okay. So, I'm going to just guess that we don't get Pokeballs from a a professor or anything in this game. So because we do have the ability to buy Pokeballs, I'm going to assume that our Nuzlocke is going to begin right now. So what I'm going to do is, and I mean just considering we just did get the rare candy, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. Even though it's only 2400 I'm going to sell it so we can actually buy some things. Because I mean, I'd imagine this shop, okay, so we have Pokeballs. Let's go ahead, let's buy, I'll say let's buy six Pokeballs. Uh, lava cookies, there's basically like a full heal. Uh, I'll buy three of those. And fresh waters. Oh, okay, we're short of buying six, so we can buy five. And the, um, the fresh water's like a super potion, but it's cheaper. So, you know what? I'll, I'll take that. Let's have a look inside these towers. Oh, let's talk to this little boy here. My family's poor, so we live at the Bone Hotel. The rooms are dirty and ugly, but at least they're cheap. <laughs> Life is so hard. Well, I mean, life is hard, but goddamn, these people are living in the fucking dark ages. I'm the Pokemon Move Maniac. I know every single move that Pokemon learned growing up. I'm also a Mushroom Maniac. Bring me two tiny mushrooms or one big mushroom. If you do that for me, I'll teach a move to one of your Pokemon. Oh, so, okay, so now we know we find mushrooms. And this is the Cheap Rooms Boon Hotel, okay? So... I'm staying in this hotel. It's not too bad, other than the roaches. Well, I mean, you get what you pay for, you know, that's just a life lesson. Hi, welcome to the Boone Hotel. Would you like to book a room? No? Well, okay. All right, you know what I'm here for. Give me all the money that this crappy hotel makes, or else. I don't like the way you're looking at me, girl. It's very disrespectful. You get that from a glance? I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson. Oh, fuck, okay, we're in a battle right now. Uh, fuck. One Pokemon still, and Ekans. Okay, so I'm guessing Ekans really can't do anything either, but just to remind you guys, the Nuzlocke has officially begun. So, if we lose with Ekans for whatever reason, I'm gonna just speed up this battle, lick it up. Lick, 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 lick. Oh, we get a crit though, let's go. Okay, so Elizabeth gets some more experience, and Elizabeth is now level 10. Awesome shit right there. Biker Timothy has been to I lost to a girl. Yeah, you did. 
What? How embarrassing. I'm supposed to be a member of the Boom Gang, but I still lost. Uh, oh, I saw it all. You're paid, girly. I'm no gentleman. I'm not afraid to beat up a girl. I mean, at least he's man enough to admit it. Oh, it's a fat guy. Of course he's disrespectful. Makuhita! Uh, okay, well, clearly he can't touch us, so I'm just gonna literally click click. Santac, guys, get out of here with that bullshit. Get out of here. And Elizabeth is now level 11. Keyboard DeAndre. What a disgrace! Humiliating! Well, that's what you get for being a god with no, dis no respect for other one. O other one? Other people. You better watch yourself, girl! If you keep trying to be a hero, someone will try to kill you. This world isn't too kind towards people who keep people away from their money. Beware! Thanks, my business has been struggling. You've helped so much. Please take this. HMO 1, we have cut already! Okay. Okay, so now... There's a biker here. I'm in a murdering mood. I think you'd be a perfect target. I can't wait to strangle you to death. These people are messed up. Honestly, that's what crime does to people. It makes you messed up. A grimer. Alright, we're just going to quickly speed this up because there's going to be a lot- Oh god, we're disabled. Oh yeah, we can't- Spite. Spite. Alright, we're no longer disabled, great. But now we can't do anything unless we get a crit. Well, isn't this going to be a fun battle? And you wonder why I speed up some of these battles. And I'm disabled again. I have to make this thing struggle. Oh my god, until I get disabled. Okay, I'm no longer disabled. Great. Now I'm disabled again. Okay. Spite, spite, spite! Now I'm no longer disabled. Okay, great. Poison gas. It doesn't affect me because I'm a poison type! Ha <laughs> ha! And Elizabeth is now at level 12. Okay, so where do we catch Pokemon? I'm guessing it's going to be in the next area because they wouldn't give us Pokeballs if they didn't. This person tried to kill Christy and is a vicious criminal. Some would say he deserves to die. Kill this person. Now, I'm going to get very moral with the ethical with you guys now. I don't believe in killing people. I'm just, that's just me. But, if you know that someone's going to be a negative impact on the environment, a negative impact on people, if they've killed someone, you know they're going to kill someone else. That's just common sense. You know, once a killer, always a killer. So I'm going to kill this person because he tried to kill me, so he doesn't try to kill someone else. Brutally execute the thug. Sorry guys, if you guys have a difference of opinion, I do apologize, but that's just how I am. That's how I'm trying to be philosophically, that's how I'm trying to be with this game here. And I mean, I'm not saying you have to agree with how I think, but clearly this game is making you try to think, you know, survival of the fittest, or in this case, survival of the strongest Pokemon. And if this guy wants to be a dickhead to me, and try to kill me, and I let him go and kill someone else, then you would feel guilty because you had a chance to kill him and stop him from doing that, but you know, he's killed someone. Alright, Kate Brink. Okay, so this is actually another encounter. But we have another battle. Hey, this is Boon Gang's territory! Okay, so we have an Ekans. Okay, once again, I don't see this Ekans really doing anything to us, so I'm going to lick it to death. Lick, 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 lick. Lick. Actually, hypnosis. Put to sleep. There we go. Lick it, lick it, lick it while it's asleep. Stay asleep. Oh god, we've been. Uh, hypnosis. Hypnosis. And now they're disabled. Great! There we go. And it's gone. Thank you, Grimer. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Okay, so I do see some bush area up here. So, we did get our first encounter. Let's go ahead and see what Pokemon will be our first encounter. Is that a Meowth? It's a Meowth! Okay, our first encounter is a Meowth. The problem is we don't have any moves that could really hurt a Meowth, so the only thing we could possibly do is put this Meowth to sleep. So, let's go to our bag, let's see if we can try to catch this Meowth with one fell swoop. Nope, it just broke free. Okay, so we got ourselves a Meowth, awesome! Meowth, the Scratch Cat Pokemon. All it does is sleep during the daytime. At night it patrols its territory with its eyes aglow. So, it is a female Meowth. Um, I 
What is the nickname for me? Alright, I do have a name I do have a, a name in mind. Just bear with me for a second. I just want to double check the name so I don't spell it wrong. Okay, there we go. I got it now. Hallie, as in Halle Berry, the person who played Catwoman. Okay, so let's have a look now at our well now meow, a new addition to the team. It's bold nature. Fuck! Oh, why are you gonna be bad? With pickup. Which actually isn't too bad. Now <clears throat> I need to go ahead and get um our Meowth trained up a bit off screen because um I feel like this game is gonna go very, very fast. I mean when I'm, when I mean very fast, I mean like um it's just going to just we're gonna have a lot of bullshit to deal with. I mean, we're seeing level tens and level elevens right now, so I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get um, the the Ghastly just train up to level 13, and then I'll get the Meowth also train up to level 13. So, uh, actually, before we leave things off, I'll go ahead and teach a cut because, I mean, we do have a cut for a reason. Uh, let's see. Use cut. Teach it to you. And it's, um, actually, we can actually go ahead and get this cut branch down here now that we've got cut. Let's use turn cut down. Can we cut down? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Let's see what's inside this area. Sludge bomb? Yo! Are you serious? We got sludge bomb right now? Gasly is gonna be an absolute beast. Fuck what everyone else says. Gasly is gonna be a goddamn beast. Okay. Now that we've done that, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and wrap this episode right here, and I'll get everyone chance to level 13. That should be the appropriate level for hopefully the next episode. So I will say thank you very guys very much for enjoying the first episode of the Pokemon Kurosu Nuzlocke. Shit is going to get dark. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit like button down below because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. And in the next episode, we will continue in the Boon Island and figure out... What the fuck are we supposed to do? I don't even know what the aim of this game is. I'm guessing it's to get revenge for our family. So I'm guessing it's just to get stronger, fight other gangs, and then get to the top. But we'll see how we go here. So until next time, I see you guys. Stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!